Cisziordániai többek között a telepekkel kapcsolatos helyzetről. Először a főképviselő asszonynak adom meg a szót. Parancsoljon! Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, let me at the outset, uh, and in order to properly frame this exchange, recall that the European Union has a clear position set out in our Council conclusions to pursue the two-state solution. The same two-state solution that since Oslo has been identified as the objective of all Israeli governments, of the Palestinian leadership and of the international community. This to us is uh, a clear uh, position and also a clear objective, not only of ours, but also that we share with the rest of the international community and of the parties. As the July report of the Quartet points out, action is needed to preserve the possibility of achieving this goal that is commonly shared, at least uh, formally. Stopping the expansion of settlements is an integral part of the efforts to keep the solution of two viable and contiguous states on the table. The so-called regularization bill, which passed a preliminary reading in, in the Knesset, would allow for the ex-post legalization of Israeli outposts in the occupied West Bank. It would enable, essentially, the confiscation of private property, ri property rights of Palestinian landowners in the West Bank for the benefit of settlers. This would mean crossing a new threshold even under Israeli law for the settlement enterprise in the West Bank. It would also mean the exact opposite of what the Quartet has called for, namely preserving the two-state solution. The debate in Israel on the regularization bill has not concluded, but the choices are clear. Either to uphold the principle of the two-state solution or to go down the path of a one-state reality which will only lead to further conflict and instability at a time when the Middle East needs all the stability it can get. The choice belongs to Israel, but I believe it is only normal that we express our own views as any friend would do. The Quartet Report, on which the European Union, as you know, has worked very much, has identified the process to retroactively legalizing outposts as a threat against the two-state solution. There is, this means, an international consensus on this, because the report, as you know, is the result of a common work we have done. It's true there has been a strong EU involvement and leadership in this, but we've done this together with the UN, the US, and the Russian Federation. So, this statement that we have, in the report of the Quartet that we presented in July is a statement that we share with our uh, friends in the international community. We have a very detailed description in the report of the situation on the ground and a shared assessment of the risk it poses to peace. But it is also important to keep in mind that the debate on the regularization bill is controversial inside the Israeli leadership and inside the Israeli society and that the process is still open. The Israeli Attorney General himself has been very explicit that this bill is unconstitutional under Israeli law, against previous rulings by Israel's Supreme Court, and in breach of international law. A final decision, as I said, has not been taken yet, and I hope that the Israeli government and legislators will do the right thing. We are in contact with the authorities in Israel, and we've made the position of the European Union very clear to the government in Israel. We will continue to follow developments on this issue very closely, together with member states. Let me stress here, the European Union is fully united on this issue. As we also reflected uh, in the quarter... It's okay. I'm glad to finish here if you want, but I guess I still have three hours. <laughs> Uh, as we also reflected in the quartet report, um, not three hours of uh, introduction for this debate, but other, report, but there are other debates after this. Uh, as we also reflected in the quartet report, uh, our goal remains to help find a new path to successful final status negotiations. We need to rebuild the conditions for a peace process that can bring results. As I said several times in this house, not a process for the sake of a process. Actually, today, even more than before, we need to preserve, recreate 
political conditions. And I would say that uh, today, even more than yesterday, it is crucial that the European Union builds and preserves international unity on this issue. Today is more important than yesterday, both on the fundamental coordinates of the two-state solution and on the way to get there. Our role is more important than ever today. Our regional partners can also play a major role in promoting and supporting a solution. The Arab Peace Initiative in particular with its vision for a comprehensive Arab-Israeli peace remains a key basis and offers significant opportunities, including with regard to regional security, that I believe would be extremely beneficial for Israel itself. At the same time, we know that real peace requires a real commitment from the Israeli and Palestinian leadership. And this is why the internal Israeli debate is so important to us. We have talked about settlement policy, but we sometimes differ, I would say often different, differ from the Israeli government. But there have been also recently some positive steps, such as plans and permits for Palestinian construction inside Area C. And this was also not uncontroversial at all within the Israeli government and uh, opinions. So I believe we should uh, not only criticize when we do not agree, but also acknowledge what we see as positive steps and encourage more of this, and also more ambitious steps that lead to real progress on the ground. So let me conclude on a more personal note. Two months ago, I was in Jerusalem for the funeral of a great Israeli man, and the great man of peace, Shimon Peres. It was a very sad moment, also for me personally, I've uh, known him for many years, and yet it showed that hope is still alive. An important gesture came that day from President Abbas, his presence at the funeral in Jerusalem, and the handshake with Prime Minister Netanyahu were little big steps in the right direction, a little big moment of hope. And the night before, the funeral, I had the opportunity for a long meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu, in which he recognized, as Peres did, that only peace can bring security to Israel. So in difficult times for the Middle East, we need to keep our eyes wide open, not only for the extremely worrying developments, but also for any glimpse of hope and seize every opportunity that comes in our way to make it grow. I know this parliament will keep its attention high, both on the worrying developments, but also on the opportunities for peace and encourage and accompany our work for making them grow. Thank you. Köszönöm szépen, főképviselő, hogy nem akartam megszakítani a gondolatát. Nyilvánvaló, mindenkinek van időkerete, önnek is volt, ez öt perc volt, de nem én szakítottam félbe, hanem